Hi Cricut Crafty Friends, this is Chris from Daily Dose of DIY and I just wanted to jump on this video real quick and go over the new Cricut updates where we can now offset text rather easily in Cricut Design Space. That is super exciting. Cricut made this update at the beginning of this week and I it just now hit my Design Space app today. When I went to open Design Space it updated and gave me that feature so I've been playing with it all afternoon and also in other news really quick if you haven't heard at the beginning I guess it was the end of last week when they announced this update they also said that they were going to start charging that you would have to get Cricut access if you wanted to upload more than 20 images a month and that upset a whole lot of people in the Cricut community, including myself, because as an SVG designer, sometimes it takes 20 uploads for one design into Cricut to get it right. We have to keep going back and fixing little things and making tweaks to get the SVG files perfect for you. So that would have taken up a lot of the free downloads or uploads for designers. Um, but anyway... Cricket, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Ashish, I think, the CEO said he they are no longer going to do that. Um, originally, he said for the rest of 2021, if you had a Cricket before 2021, but today he announced not at all, not even after 2021, they are not going to force you to get Cricket access. So we're back to the same on that. We don't have to have access to upload our SVG files. I just wanted to thank Cricut for listening to their community community and making that change. Now I want to take you into, let me switch my screen, into Design Space so we can talk about the new updates that they did make. And I have to say, playing around with it today, it is still a little glitchy. I'm going to type out, I want to do Choose Joy. And one of the glitches, I'll make this bigger so we can see it, ungroup it, and then I'm going to put my letters close together, right? Well, the first, the last couple of times I've played with this, it allowed me to do it, but the first two times, it was not allowing me to move my letters. So that might be a glitch that you um, come across when you're, uh, after the update. We're going to get these moved close together though. Like I said, it seems to be working now, so I don't know. Maybe it just needed to warm up. And of course, we're going to take our cursor over and select them all. And I'm going to come down to the Layers menu over here on the right and click the Weld button. The um, font, this font is one of my own fonts that I uploaded. It's called Bistro Joy, and I found it on fontbundles.net. I can link that to you in the description if you love it like I do, so you can find it to add to your own. Now, if we look up here on the top menu, it now, well, I unselected it. We now have an offset button up here. You see that? So we're gonna click that little down arrow and it goes on a sliding scale. As soon as we click that arrow, you can see the blue little offset going around. And it's on a sliding scale like um, curved text is. So we can go slide this way and get a big offset. It gets really, really, really big. Or we can slide closer to the center and get no offset whatsoever. So I'm going to give just a little bit of offset. You can also, it's default on a curve. You can see it curves nicely around these letters. You can choose to do square too. I have to warn you, um, switching back and forth takes a little bit. I don't even see it trying to switch right now. That might be another little glitch that it's having. But also the square does not look near as good with script font as it does with um, regular like print font. So I'm just going to go back to curve because I don't think it's switching anyway. And then we can click apply and that will add an offset to those letters. 
Now we can move this down. It's this whole other layer. So I can come up here to the top menu again and choose colors and change that color to whatever I want it to and put the letters over top and it looks just perfect. Just like you would do it in a design software. Um, once I get all the glitches worked out of it, I think it will, it will be amazing. It'll be fun for us to work with. Um, right now, thankfully, there is not as many glitches as when I first started playing with it. You can also offset your offset. I wanted to show you that if you want to do more than one layer. So we have my offset selected and I can come up here and click offset again and it's going to go, you can see the blue lines, it's going to offset my offset. So I click apply. That one came in in black, but we can pull this down, select the black layer, go to the top again and change it to whatever we want. Let's do gold. And then you can just put your layers on top of each other. Of course, to line it up perfectly in here, you would select everything, go to the top where it says align, and then scroll down to center, center, and that gets it looking good on your design space canvas. We can also, I'm going to select all and move it out of the way, offset images. So if we go in here to images, these are some of the images in Cricut Access. Let's see if there's anything good. I think I just might use this carrot up on the top. It will work with any image though. So if you bring an image in and have it selected, again, click that offset at the top and you see that outline go around there. We can make it really big or bring it in tight and make it a little smaller. Once you're happy with the way it looks, click the apply button and it will offset that image. This has just been so fun to play with today. I know you're gonna have fun like I did too. So then when you're ready to cut out your things, if you hit the make it button, it will of course separate those mats for you. So you have the offset in orange down here and the carrots up here in the black. Now, if you are going to change, if you're going to use vinyl, let me move my screen around a little bit. If you're going to use vinyl, like adhesive vinyl, I'll link you down below on how to set up to layer adhesive vinyl. Because of course, once this cuts, you're gonna to have to line it all back up on your project, right? And adhesive vinyl is sticky and you can end up with a big ball of mess and I don't want that to happen for you. Um, but paper is okay to go ahead and cut like that and layer up like on your cards and scrapbooking. And then of course heat transfer vinyl is not near as sticky. So that's fairly easy to layer to. That is all I wanted to cover today. I wanted to show you this great new feature in Cricut Design Space for 2021. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fun Cricut Crafts and tutorials.